uh, the media. Uh, good afternoon, and uh, thank you for accepting our invitation uh, to be here with us uh, today. Uh, at the close of every financial year, uh, it is a requirement of the FNPF Act that the board makes a credit, crediting rate for the financial year. This crediting rate can only be determined after the fund actuary confirms that the amount will not place undue stress on the solvency requirements of the FNPF. This is a very important safeguard for the fund that was built into the Act as part of the reforms in 2012. Therefore, as FNPF members, uh, this is a time to anticipate as it is a way in which the fund contributes to growing all positive member balances. Let me begin by stating that the coronavirus pandemic has forced businesses to reassess their financial projections amid the rapidly shifting landscape of the global economy. No one has been immune to the financial impact that the pandemic has brought about, the FNTF included. In particular, as required under the International Financial Reporting Standards, or IFRS, the fund has to revalue all its investments and take into account any negative impact of the pandemic. This is not an easy exercise, given that there are no agreed framework for valuations under this uh, pandemic event. Nevertheless, international valuation firms were engaged to ensure that we follow best practices on the valuation and the requirements. Despite the tough investment and operating environment, I am pleased to announce that the board has approved an interest rate of 5% for the financial year ending 30th June 2020. This means that 286.2 million will be credited to over 388,000 members, members account from midnight tonight. Therefore, the fund has now paid over $1.43 billion, mil, billion dollars in interest to members' accounts over the last five years. The amount that each member gains will depend entirely on their average balances during the year, but they must have a positive balance. Last year, when we declared the interest, we had clearly advised members that the interest declared last year was reflective of the one-off revaluation gains recorded in the accounts in the last financial year. And the rate would normalize this year. <clears throat> However, with the added impact or eco added economic downturn impact by COVID-19, it has re resulted in a declaration of 5%. While this rate is lower than what we have initially anticipated, it is still a very competitive rate given the current economic and investment environment. I also want to assure member that the members that these declarations has been done in consideration uh, for the fund's uh, future remained strong financial position. The full economic impact of COVID-19 is still working through the economic environment and will become more prominent in the coming year. Our investments in the tourism sector will continue to be affected in 2021. We will therefore rely on our investments in the balance of our portfolio, which includes 42% investments in the safer government bonds to support our returns in the next financial year. This is the benefit of diversification. The fund's investment team is closely monitoring the economic climate of the country and the global community, and we will continue to seek opportunities that would optimize returns. All industries, including the superannuation industry, are facing immense challenges, with the key challenge being the need to strike a balance between helping our members during this difficult period without losing sight of our core objective which is to ensure that our members will have a meaningful income when they reach retirement. The fund has also taken a more vigilant position in its commitment and are strategizing to ensure that its operations are smarter and conducive to the current operating environment 
to protect members' hard earned savings now and into the future. I also encourage members to save when we can. We have members that have signed up for additional contributions. These members have grasped the importance of savings with FNPF and have capitalized on the facilities or products available as well as the tax exemptions to boost their savings. I also urge members to utilize the fund's digital services to check their balances tomorrow and continue to track their savings. Over 70,000 members uh, who are now registered on the MyFNPFM can check their balances on the portal, while 36,000 can view the latest statements on their member portal. Members can also download the MyFNPF app on their mobile, uh, their mobiles by Google Play Store or the Apple uh, App Store, as well as the other FNPF digital services, to be able to check the changes in their retirement saving balance. Approximately 140,000 members will receive their updated statements via emails in the next few months. Uh, members are therefore encouraged to update their email records with the fund to receive their statements. To the email. <clears throat> now on the special debt benefit, the board has also retained the special debt benefit or SDB for 2020 of 8,500 at a premium of $35 to be deducted from uh, our members' account on 1st July 2020. This amount is added to members' uh, FNP balance in the event unfortunate event that they passed away between 1st July 2020 to 30th June 2021 or in the next financial year. We would also like to thank our employers for their support in the FNPF COVID-19 withdrawal scheme that we are currently providing to our members. We understand the situation that they are facing and the challenges for them to comply with our laws given the current economic situation. Uh, accordingly, I would like to also announce that the board has developed a relief package for our employees that will be effective from uh, retrospectively from 28th, from January 2020 until June 2021, and it consists of uh, the following: uh, waiver of uh, penalties, will also provide time payment arrangements, uh, relaxation on garnishy or third party payments, and, the, and reduction on. Re requirements for the uh, DPO. We will be communicating the full details to our employees in the coming week and hope that will help in a small way during this difficult period. On that note, I would like to take this opportunity to convey appreciation to our key stakeholders, uh, our members, our pensioners and uh, government employers for their support during the last month. The next few months will not be easy. However, more than ever, we will need to be more supportive of each other as we tread through this period of uh, economic uh, recovery. Now, only. the team are here. Uh, we have uh, Billy, a GM uh, Business uh, Transformation. Billy is the CIO, Chief Investment Officer. Vali Patel is the Team Chief uh, Operation Officer and CFO Pragnes to take any questions uh, on this uh, uh, event.